Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And speaking of Christmas, all the Boonville Bearcats wanted was a ring, and that's exactly what they got. You're watching the River Valley Report. I'm Leland Barclay and this is the River Valley Sports Report where we highlight area teams, athletes, and coaches. A pair of fourth down plays were the difference on Saturday afternoon at War Memorial Stadium as Boonville defeated Prescott 25 to 22 for the Class 3A state championship. Sturdy seniors Dax Goff and Rylan Ray led the way for Boonville on Saturday combining for 340 rushing yards. Golf scored three touchdowns on runs of 31, 13, and 73 yards. Boonville's defense was outstanding on Saturday, holding Prescott to just 220 yards, 10 first downs, one third down conversion on eight tries, and a 0 for 3 on fourth down attempts. Boonville won the coin flip, deferred to the second half, and then stuffed Prescott on fourth down on Prescott's opening possession of the game. Golf scored on a 31-yard run two plays later for a quick 6-0 lead. Golf also put Boonville up 12-0 in the second quarter with a 13-yard scoring jaunt. Quarterback Jace Warshburn sent Boonville into the locker room with an 18-7 lead with a one-yard touchdown run late in the first half. Golf added a 73-yard touchdown run in the second half, but Boonville still needed to convert a fourth and one with 113 left before taking two knees to run out the clock for the victory. We talked with Boonville head coach Doc Crowley after the game. Uh, I can't describe it right now, but just amazing uh, community. It means so much to our football program. And like, you know, the program means a lot to the community, so it's great to bring home the fifth state championship. You know, the expectations going into the year were high. Did you kind of feel some of that pressure at times? <laughs> yeah, of course. You know, there's always pressure at Boonville, but, you know, with what we had coming back, the backs and Robin and the seniors and count the sophomore class. Uh, lots of pressure there and they lived up to it. Well, of all the, one, the, the many yards that Dax Goff has picked up in his career, that one yard there at the end might be the biggest it one. The biggest one, absolutely. You know, I really thought he had the first down on, the, on our guys he come running in and then they signaled, you know, their first down and I kept looking at the chains and said, man, I think he's got it. And luckily they, they took care of it. He's just so special. It's bittersweet, you know, his last game with him. You don't get to watch him do it anymore. But, uh, the legacy and the things that he's left uh, behind at this program will, will live on for a long time. How important was it to get Ray back to in time for the playoffs and have that one-two punch? Man, absolutely everything. He's the hardest on our football team. He's a emotional leader, vocal leader. And he worked so hard. He worked to get back you know, after a broken leg four weeks in an ACL last year. Man, he's had some bad luck, but he worked hard to get back. I'm super happy for him. Um, you know, I got some defensive stops early, like the big, you know, on their first drive. That was that was yeah. big. I don't know. It was a long time ago, but we yeah. got another one after that. Our defense has been playing really good in this playoff run, and I've been, we've been waiting on it. And uh, you know, we've got five sophomores out there, and those guys did a tremendous job of growing up and getting better every week. And Coach Combs can't say enough good things about him, man. He's an old Boomer boy, and he works his tail off. He takes a lot of pride in what he does. On Monday this week, players selected as all state by their conference coaches was announced by the Arkansas Activities Association. So big congratulations to the following River Valley athletes. From the 7A Central, Northside receivers Cam Massey and Ezra Phillips. From the 7A West, Southside offensive lineman Cooper Anderson and Kobe Branham, along with running back Amari Tucker. From the 6A West, from Greenwood, defensive players Cash Archer and Brady Mackey, along with quarterback Kane Archer, running back Braden Davis, and wide receivers Grant Carnes and L.J. Robbins. 
and also the pass catch duo from Van Buren of quarterback Bryce Perkins and receiver Trenton Cooley. From the 5A West from Alma, quarterback Jackson Daly, junior defensive back Ashton Shonavong, and sophomore receiver Sam Schlegel, along with linebacker Rhett Fultz from Clarksville. From the 4A1, two-way lineman Charlie Vandenberg from Ozark, and also two-way player Kobe Wilbanks from Ozark. And from the 4A4, offensive and defensive lineman Abe James from Lamar. And then from the 3A1, from state champion Boonville, running backs Dax Goff and Rylan Ray, along with two-way lineman Matt Obar. From Charleston, linebacker Hunter Little and two-way player Reese Marishka, along with quarterback Cole Ketchum from Hackett. And then two-way star junior Daniel Burton from Mansfield and two-way lineman Turner Wright, also from Mansfield. Once again, congratulations to these fine football players for great seasons. That brings us to the weekly segment, Gimme Five. These are the top five performances of the past week in the River Valley. Number one, Class 3A State Championship Most Valuable Player, Dax Goff, who ran for 31 times for 245 yards and three touchdowns in Boonville's 25-22 win over Prescott on Saturday. He also had five solo tackles as a linebacker and recovered an onside kick late. He finished his career with 5,961 yards and as the school's all-time leading rusher. We talked to Golf following the state championship game. I mean, I don't cry a whole lot and I was crying over there, so I'm feeling some, feeling some happy emotions. And I was at, it's just surreal right now. I mean, last year we, did, we came out not on top and this year, we came out on top and it's just an incredible feeling knowing that we did this for our town, for our team, for our coaches, for our families. It's, it's awesome. Did last year kind of motivate you guys a lot? Mm -hmm. Actually, before the game, we wrote down the score to last year's game on a marker board and put it by the door. So when we walked out, we saw it. So it was just in the back of our mind. We don't take that as take that as something that holds us back. We take that as motivation to push us forward. And I think that's, that pushes us forward a lot in this game. Number two, running mate Rylan Ray ran for 95 yards on Saturday and finished the season with 1,009 yards, despite not one, but two injuries, one of which kept him out of the entire season last year and the other during part of this season before he returned in time for the playoffs. We talked with Goff and Ray about their one-two punch and also about Ray's return. I mean, running be back, I kind of felt a little bit of pain because you don't get no breaks back there. And so when Ryan got back, I kind of had a little, a little speak of joy. And he got back and he ran it a few times. I ran it a few times, kind of switched it off. And it just, he, he's a dog and he mows people over. So we get, we get four yards of carry with him back. We have a little more off of me, onto him, and it gives our other guy a lot more room to run too. Rylan, you, you know, of course, you missed all last year. You didn't get to play this game. You had another injury this year. How determined were you to get back and, and be here again? Well, as soon as I got hurt, they told me it was about six weeks. And I got back in about four, and so I guess that explains it. How neat is it, though, to get back here and play in this game after last year? Because how hard was it standing there and watching that game last year? Uh, that's probably the most painful thing I've ever done in my life. I hated every second of it. What did you kind of do to get back? Insane amount of therapy and working out. How neat is it to uh, you know to bring the state trophy back to Boonville? I mean, it's where it belongs. I, I don't even know what to say. Number three, Matt Obar was a force on both sides of the ball for Boonville, both this season and again on Saturday when he was selected as the Burlesworth Award winner. He was also select, selected as both the outstanding offensive lineman and defensive lineman by the coaches in the 3A1. We talked with Obar about winning the state championship on Saturday. In the world, this is all I wanted, especially since last year, losing it. It's just, it's just, I just wanted to go out my senior season with a bang, and I just wanted to bring that title home for the school and the community. Uh, offensive line, defensive line, did you get tired at all today? I got pretty winded on defense <laughs> a couple of times. It was a couple of long drives after going in on offense. I think there was only what, two drives that I, I wasn't on there on defense, and I, I got pretty winded, but I, I was going to stick in there as long as, I need, as long as I need to. What was kind of the key for you guys on defense today, you know, holding them down? It's 
uh, just keep keep the run run contained. Now, there was a couple times where they was they was getting kind of loose on us, but uh, uh, we just we knew there was going to be pulling and running it to that right side. They like to run to the right side a lot. We knew if we could shut it down there, we could probably shut them down pretty good. Number four, linebacker Hunter Warren paced Boonville's defense on Saturday with 11 tackles, including seven solo takedowns in helping the Bearcats hold Prescott to just two offensive touchdowns. Number five, halfback Connor Lentz had two carries on Saturday for 11 yards, but six of those yards were on a fourth down option pitch that kept Boonville's final drive alive. Sunday's River Valley Democrat Gazette can still be picked up all across the River Valley, including Eastern Oklahoma at Walgreens, Harps, Come and Go, CVS Pharmacy, Casey's, and Walmart. You can subscribe online at rivervalleydemocratgazette.com slash subscribe or by calling our customer service line at 479-684-5509. Be sure to follow the River Valley Democrat Gazette Twitter account as well as mine, Walter Woody's, and Harold McElvain's for updates on Friday night. You can view and purchase photos from our award-winning photographers that can be seen and purchased on our website rivervalleydemocratgazette.com slash photo. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. We're going to wrap up this week's River Valley Sports Report with photos from Boonville's state championship win at War Memorial Stadium on Saturday. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And we'll see you in the new year in January.